Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can take a tkinter application that you created using Python and convert it into an executable file or a .exe file. The process is very simple and I'm going to go through it step by step in this tutorial. The reason you might want to create an exe file or an executable is that maybe you want to share an application that you created with your colleagues or friends or whoever you want and they should be able to run it on their machine with zero issue. So consider that you have created this simple login application that you see right here. If you want to share it with a friend, you will have to ask them to install Python, install any additional dependencies that you may have in your application, figure out how to download the source code and figure out a way to run it. So this is a lot to ask of someone, especially when you're asking them to set up an application that you created. When you create a single executable file, you share this single file with them and they should be able to run the application with zero issue with no need to actually install Python or any modules. They will simply just run this app and they will be able to see it and use it the way you developed it. So this is our goal. This is what we plan to achieve in this video. Now, I'm using this login form that you see right here. This is part of a previous tutorial of mine in which I showed you how to build this using tkinter. However, I'm not going to go through anything related to the code or how to build it in this video. If you're interested, you can go to the previous one. This is simply reserved for creating the executable file. All right, so without further ado, let's get started. I'm going to close this and I'm going to close VS Code as well since we no longer need to refer to the code. So to create our executable, we're going to use a very, very popular Python library called PyInstaller. This is the most common library used for creating these executable files. So PyInstaller is very simple to install. So I'm going to head over to my CMD or my command prompt. So as you can see here, I'm inside any directory. So for the installation process, you do not need to be inside the specific directory in which we're going to create this executable. For now, you can do this from any directory. And what you want to do is you want to simply run pip install py installer. So when you do that, you will be downloading and installing this library, which we will later use to create this executable. So let's press enter and wait. In my case, it says re requirement already satisfied. The reason is I already have Py installer installed on my machine. In your case, it's going to take about a minute or two, then it gets installed on your machine and you should be ready to go. All right, so I'm just going to clear this and I'm going to head into the directory of our project. So simply I'm going to cd into tkinter and not data entry tkinter login form. So this is the folder that we want to be in. So I've cd into this directory. I actually have it open here in the file expo explorer as well. As you can see, I just have one file. It's the main.py file. This is where all our source code for the login form already exists. All right. Let me pull up the CMD again. So now that we have py installer installed, what we want to do is simply convert this main.py into an application, into a .exe, an executable. The way we do this, very simple. I will simply say py installer and then main.py. So here I'm saying, go ahead py installer, convert main.py into an application. And I press enter. So this will take about a minute to convert everything. So as I wait for it, you can see that some folders are being created here within the file explorer, you can see them. So when this is done, I will show you how we will execute the application. Okay, so now that it's done, you can see that multiple files and folders were created. So you have this build, this dist. So you have to go actually inside the dist. And this is where you'll find the main folder and you're, you're going to find a bunch of different files. So you can see the one we're actually interested is this one. So the main and it's of type application. So if I go to properties, you can see that it is a .exe file. All right, so let's actually try to run it. So if I double click on it, this should open up the application. You can see it opens up a type of command prompt as well or a console. And here you have the actual application, the login form that I had previously created. And of course it should work the exact same way. So if I press login, it says invalid. Um, if I put any user with any maybe incorrect password, it should say invalid login as well. So as you can see, it's definitely working. There is this window right here and there are a bunch of files. So this is a lot of files to work with. Now, let's say for example, I take this main 
application file and I take it to another folder. So let's go ahead and here create a new folder. So I'm just going to say, let's go with new folder and just create it here. So now that I've created it here, let me try to run it from inside this new folder. What I'm trying to show you guys is that this is what's going to happen when you share this main.exe with your friends or with your colleagues. They're going to try to run it on their machines and they're only going to have this one file. So now if I try to run it, you can see that it crashes. The reason is because we have all of these different other files. So these files that you can see right here. So all of this stuff. This is all necessary for the execution of your application. So it's not going to run without it. Now, you might be thinking now, okay, this is so problematic. Why do I need all of this? I don't want to share all of this with my colleagues. I just want to share one single file with them. And this is very simple to achieve. So I'm just going to come back and delete everything we've created so far. Let's see. And only keeping the Python file. So now going back to the command prompt, I'm going to clear and I'm going to go back, execute the same thing. So py installer main.py, but this time I will specify a flag called one file. By doing so, I'm telling py installer, put everything in one single file. I don't want to share a million files with my colleagues. I want to share one single file. And you will see the difference. As soon as it is done, I'll show you the difference and how you can run it and you can find one file. So here we go inside dist. This time inside this, you don't have a folder called main with a bunch of files. You have one single file and this is the application. So this is what I was trying to tell you that using this one file flag, you're able to create only one file for the application. Let's run it. You should see it works the same and let's try to actually move it into a new folder as well. So here I'm just going to create a new folder and then Let's double click on it. And as you can see inside the new folder, it also works as well. So this is the difference between using the one file flag versus not using it. So when you don't use it, you're going to end up with a lot of files on your hands. However, when you use the one file flag, you will have only one single .exe file which you can share, and this will be able to run your application. So this is much more desirable. It's much better because now you're able to consolidate everything into one single file. All right, so the last thing I want to show you is when we run the application, I'm sure you noticed this sort of console here gets launched with the application every single time. Now for someone who doesn't use Python, this may be very confusing and they may, may be wondering why it's even here. So there is one way to suppress it or to hide it and that's very simple. So I'm going to close this and go back. Let's delete everything that we've done so far. Okay, so now I'm back in my command prompt. So again, the same exact line, so py installer main.py one file, except this time I'm going to pass another flag called w. This will mean that everything should be inside the one window in our application. So this will suppress the additional window, which is this console that you're seeing, usually reserved for the outputs or print statements of your Python program. So now when we use this w flag, this should create one file for our application and it should not open up this additional window. It should only open up our tkinter application. Now that it's done, I can go to dist and then here I have the main. If I double click on it, as you can see, it only launches up our application, our login form, nothing else. So this is how we were able to create an executable file from our tkinter application. I hope you found this video useful. Do let me know in the comments if you have any questions and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.